Let's react to this video that's going viral out of uh, UC Berkeley. Uh, so Peter Bogosian, who we reacted to earlier for him going out and doing these thought experiments where he asks people or he gives people a statement like there are two genders and asks, do you strongly disagree? Do you strongly agree? Or are you somewhere in the middle on that spectrum? And he did so. And a geneticist piped up to talk about her views on transgenderism and whether or not you can transition genders. And this now has 1.2 million views. Let's see what she had to say. Yeah. Trans women should be legally treated as women. Tell me why you're strongly disagreeing. Because I'm a molecular geneticist. Being male or being female is a developmental process. You can't go backwards. Okay. So you can't change your sex. Like, you cannot do that. And the truth is that currently in California prisons and prisons in other parts of the country, women are getting impregnated by other women, mm -hmm. and uh, there's just no way that I mean, this is against the UN. I, when after World War II, there was like a, I don't remember what body came up with this um, statue, but it was against. I, I believe it was the Hague. You, you cannot house female prisoners with male prisoners because they get raped, and that's happening today. She's right. She is not lying. Uh, we've seen sexual assault happen in California prisons where they've now decided if you're a male inmate who identifies as female, just fill out some paperwork. We'll review that paperwork and we'll send you over to a female facility. Do you have to undergo hormone replacement therapy? No. Do you have to undergo sex reassignment surgery? No. Do you have to do anything that shows that you actually present to the world as a female? No. We'll just transfer you over. And what would you have you know you, you you pass this law and you say it's okay and suddenly hundreds of male inmates have now stated that they identify as female so many male inmates in fact are saying they identify as female that it's above the actual population demographic rate for people living in the u.s who identify as transgender so suddenly there's this massive spike of men in prison specifically who identify as female in one case, they actually sent over a man who was a serial killer of women to a female facility. In New Jersey, you saw a transgender inmate get transferred over to a female facility. And guess what? Two inmates ended up pregnant. How did that happen if it was just another female being placed in the female facility? That really makes the, the mind work a little bit. It's almost like they're still men. <laughs> Uh, in every way, shape, and form, they are biological men who have simply made a statement and say, said I identify as female, and now they're being transferred over. This is something that J.K. Rowling has been very outspoken about, as she's seen it happen in, in countries like Sweden, where they're saying a, a man who rapes women can identify as a female and be treated as such. So when we talk about the issues regarding transgenderism and how you identify, so many people will try to minimize your concern. How could, why would you be concerned about bathrooms? Why are you concerned about men, biological men playing in female sports? And oftentimes you'll hear that and you'll go, oh, well, yeah, I guess, I guess these are small issues. It really doesn't affect me all that much if somebody wants to use the bathroom. It doesn't affect me all that much if, you know, Leah Thomas is going around beating up all the other women when it comes to, to in, being in the swimming pool, or if a, a man who identifies as a woman is literally fighting other women in a ring during, during a sports match, that doesn't really affect me all that much. But it does. Because if you make that concession, you make the concession that men get to go into the female facility at gyms. They get to go into the female facility when you're at the spa. They get to identify as female and get treated by doctors as if they're female. They get to identify as female in the prison system and get transferred over to female facilities and then just run wild and do whatever it is they want with no repercussions because they have their, their trans card. That is what you are conceding when you concede things like sports, when you concede things like the bathroom. You are quite literally creating female victims. But all in the name of feminism, I guess. I, I don't know. You know, I go to the women's, I go to the women's changing room at my gym, and there's a dude in there. He's putting on j makeup and hoop earrings, and this is not something a woman does when she goes to work out. No.
except the Instagram baddies. Or do women beat each other to death? But men do. Mm. You know, and it's just, it's so sad that women have internalized misogyny to the point where the man's comfort is, takes precedence over the woman's safety. There See, this is where I disagree. I don't <laughs> believe it's a matter of internalized misogyny. I think it's a matter of being so open-minded that your brains fall out. It's quite literally what it is. Just being accepting of all things because truth does not exist anymore and objectivity doesn't exist anymore. I don't think women are doing this for men's comfort. I think they genuinely believe that biological men can identify as female and should be treated as such. Genuinely. You, do you see any internalized misogyny in that? No, of course not. No. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a strange thing that we end up causing more harm by trying to be nice or end up in a worse situation. It's like, you know, we can, have you, have you ever experienced a situation in life where you are nicer than you should have been mm -hmm. and it ends up creating a bigger mess than uh, it needed to be because you gave up too much ground yep. um, from, from the get go when you should have just been like, okay, this is, I hear, I have to have this confrontation, but here's the actual truth. And I think we all know deep down that standing on something like biology, standing on something like reality is important. Yep. And yet I feel good. I feel virtuous. Or I just want to avoid the confrontation um, of, I think most people are on that side of things. It's not so mm -hmm. much that they are these virtue signaling people that want to just, you know, impose this woke ideology. Most normal people are just like, okay, do you do whatever you want to do? I guess I'll mm -hmm. go along with it. But, but we've done that so much and so long that we've started to allow and create room for uh, this stuff to happen where male inmates can identify as women and create all kinds of havoc there. And, and we've, unintentionally ended up erasing women and erasing women's accomplishments and erasing women's yep. sports and, and doing so many things that are so much more of a mess that we could have been avoided if we just would have said, no, you're, you're still a man. Right. I mean, gone in every sense, like gone, female accolades, gone, female sporting, gone, female safety and in, in privacy, gone, like uh, due process when it comes to things like this gone like you you've quite literally abolished these things in a matter of what like five years this has been very very quick onset for how far we've descended into madness and just complete erasure of women and and as much as uh people talk about you know feminism and whether or not there's a need for it if we're talking about old school feminism where we actually put men and women in their place and say these things are equal maybe we need a resurgence of actual feminism here because this is not it this is not it there's a reason why they don't want to be in men prisons because men beat each other to death. Women don't do that. Ozzy, what, if anything, would cause you to move to the disagree? And is there anything you heard here tonight that would convince you to move one line over? It's okay to say no. I'm just trying to figure this out. No, I have figured it out. <laughs> I love and you're it. confident. I am as confident as I am that this is my hand in front of my face instead of yours. There is absolutely, this is the most insane thing that has ever happened to me in my life, that women are a feeling now. See, guys, not all heroes wear capes. Some of them wear cardigans. <laughs> and this woman has done what's needed to be done. And it's a message, again, just a calm message put forth by somebody who's saying, here's where you need to be concerned. And here's where the problem is. And here's what has happened. And 1.2 million people later, the message has blown up and people are hearing it. And it's this cool, calm, rational, just explanation of why things are wrong and maybe why things should be seen in a different light that really breaks through for people. Yeah, and I actually love how she did say that uh, we're women have all this internalized misogyny. Mm -hmm. Like she recognizes the same problem that we recognize, yeah. but she locates it and grounds it in something that is Different. a leftist worldview. Right. And yet she's committed enough to reality that she can acknowledge the problem. Yep. And I think that's like the line that distinguishes p between the woke people who have become too detached from reality to even acknowledge that the problem is that we're departing from reality yeah. um, 
that and the people who are just like everyday normal people who can still we may disagree politically but we right. can come together and understand that this is insane and not okay and i'm reminded of um i talked to jim james Lindsay for prager U when he came and filmed this five minute video and mm-hmm. I, I asked him because uh, i had noticed he was on ali stuckey's conservative christian podcast in the same week that richard dawkins a renowned atheist endorsed his book and i was like why are you at the center of this convergence of atheists and christians what's that common ground that you're sharing and he said reality mm-hmm. they both believe in objective reality and and that there's that weird intersection that we have right now yep. of people who may come from different ends of the spectrum but if you're still like uh, colin wright our friend his his uh, blog is called reality's last stand he just got kicked off of twitter for speaking out against gender ideology which is so, wild because yeah. he's like classically liberal yeah exactly he's not even a conservative person yeah but i think so it's such an interesting thing of the day that we're in is that like just normal people who just can still don't will not concede the i will not you know say blue is red or whatever i will not yeah. say this guy is green um are the ones who are finding this common ground right now yeah and i mean that's what we said is like we we used to agree on what the problems were and just disagreed on the solution and this is a common ex- this is like a prime example of that she agrees on what the problem is she disagrees on what the solution is because her solution involves internalized misogyny our solution involves just like a complete uh complete separation from what reality is um but at least we agree on the problem. <laughs> oh my gosh. And and I second that, Taylor. I'm glad that she said internalized misogyny because I think that left-leaning people who watch this will be more inclined to agree with her because she made the point through their worldview. And I think that's a powerful thing and something that I could learn from is that how do we argue things and, and try to get to the common ground of agreeing on what the problem is, but how can we do that through both worldviews and through both lenses and sort of come to an explanation where we can both agree this is a problem that needs to be solved. Uh, so all for it. Go go run with the internalized misogyny thing. Yeah, I I would love for us to get back to a place where we can actually have the debates because we both here we're both living in yeah. reality and let's talk about the best way to to view that or the best way to negotiate these differences or whatever. Right. Um, but right now we have this this woke monster that is pulling everyone away from reality and we're, we're both just having to be like, wait, no, 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 that doesn't even make sense. Let's, yeah. So let's def- let's link arms, defeat that, and then get back to like actually having the debates and playing by the same rules. Because it's like, it's like there's a third team on the field that's cheating and not playing by the same rules and changing the entire rules of the game. Right. And they're silencing the referee. And so right. everyone who is playing fairly is like, wait a second, How this the is heck not are cool. We supposed to do yeah. this? Yeah, like we can't even play the game anymore. <laughs> 